Hi. Wow. So here we are in my room. Woo. Um, I really need to redo my room soon. Oh, hello, hair and bow. Get my cute bow. I like the way my hair looks today. Although my hair dryer died on me while I was drying my hair before church tonight. It was really not cool. So I need to buy a new one. But it's okay because. I don't know why I bothered trying to dry it. Other than it's cold. That's why I tried to dry it. That's right. Okay. So, um, I felt like doing a video because I haven't done one in a while. Yeah. But I haven't. Hi, Cole. Hi, baby. But I haven't, um, had anything interesting enough to tell you. So, hold on a second. Figured why not today. Hmm? Okay. So, first things. Are I got my oops eh, Ipsy glam bag yesterday and I'm kind of excited about it because kind of excited about it because um I really like the products so far I'm actually really impressed with them so this is all I got I thought I got maybe oh, not oh yes I Okay, so I got the. They all do this. I don't know why. Mm, let's do this, maybe. Pixie. Haha. Uh -huh. Well, anyway. Yeah! Whatever. The Pixie um, Flawless and Poreless Primer. And I really like, like it. I used it at the gym today. And. Um, and I forgot that I had been I had wore it. I didn't have any face makeup on because why are you wearing makeup to the gym? I don't understand. But I am, um, and I didn't even realize that my face wasn't shiny until after I took a shower and I saw what my face looks like without help. But I was like, oh wow, it worked. So I really like this. And then we have a mascara, which is good. I need new mascara actually. So good timing, my glam. Um, from Pop Pop Beauty, so I like it, you know. It's a mascara, woo, mascara. Like I said, I needed another one, so I needed another one, so it's all good. And then we have some lash cards, which I know Michelle Fawn is a fan of. Um, I know in her older older videos she used lash cards, um, but I ha I'll have to get used to them because it was just really awkward for me trying to use them but it's all good um, and then a coastal scents quad I got the more yellow and gold shades um, which I actually really like I did my makeup with the colors I don't know if you can see Ooh, colors um, I'll post a picture will I post a picture I don't know maybe we'll see how vain I feel after I do this um, <laughs> But yeah, um, good colors and the payoff is pretty good and I like it. And we have gel eyeliner from Micah Beauty. Micah? Micah? Micah Beauty? I see them at the mall. Um, so yeah, that was in my glam bag this month. And yeah, my first impression review is this primer is really good. Really good. And I like these colors, and I just have to test out the gel eyeliner, which I'll probably do tomorrow. Um, oh, uh, this is turning into like a haul video or something, I don't know. Today I went to the gym, I think I mentioned that earlier. Yes I did, for the primer, yeah. So I went to the gym, and then um, my friend that went with me, Andrea, yay Andrea, um, she, we went to Barnes & Noble. And I got an Archie comic, yes! I haven't bought a new, well, brought in Veronica, but a new Archie comic in ages! Of course, most of these comics are in the other comics that I have, but I love them anyways, and I bought two of the MAC lip glosses from the Betty and Veronica collection. Um, not really digging the advertisement picture they have, but it's MAC, so whatever. Um, and I'm kind of sad I only got to ha get two lip glosses, but <sighs> stupid expensive cosmetics is stupid expensive. 
So, at least I got two things. I'm really excited about that. And I also bought this book, es Etiquette and Espionage. Um, I saw like a preview thing for the website on Tumblr, I want to say like, a couple weeks ago. And I was like, ooh, this sounds so exciting and interesting. I mean, etiquette, perfection, ladiness, whatever. And then like you're secretly killing people. What is this? I don't know what this is, but this is I I don't know. I'm going to stop. Stop. Anyways, so, and I like the cover. Look at how cute the cover is. Very, whatever, steampunky. Which is good, because this is what this is supposed to be. Absolutely charming, comical, and full of whimsy. It's the perfect steampunk version of Harry Potter. Which is a review by Marie Lu, the author of the Legend Trilogy. Um, so, yeah. Woo! Um, a couple more things and then I'll wrap this up. Um, tonight's message in church was really good for me. I mean, I've heard it before, of course. You know, sometimes, sometimes you hear things that you've heard before, but, like, you needed to hear it again. Which is what happened tonight. And it was, um, in 1 Corinthians... Uh, chapter 8 about you know not being a stumbling block for your brethren and just reminded me of a couple situations where like I just need to be more careful and I need to make sure that I apologize for being a possible stumbling block um, and that I need to um, do my best to not offend um, not offend my brothers and sisters in Christ and just people in general you know um, with the things that I do, the things that I say, the way that I live my life. I mean, I know the way that I live my life because I'm trying to live Christ-like. It might offend some people or something or rub people the wrong way. That's one thing. But like when you're doing things that offend people, um, I, know, uh, I know an issue for me personally uh, is um, language. I'm my language has become very colorful again and not in a way that I'm particularly proud of um, and I and so yeah I know that it's not a big deal for some people and then it's a really big deal for some and it's just better to kind of try and stay in the middle and just not and I need to go back to that for me personally so anyway that's one of the things that I re-realized tonight and um, <laughs> um, one of my notes is that um, it's not about my personal liberty it's about whether or not I love my brother and sister my brothers and sisters in Christ um, and whether or not I want to build them up or if I want to tear them down um, so yeah and then we had finished reading the chapter through the first time because it's like 13 verses. And uh, the first thing I wrote down <laughs> was my response should not be, yeah, I know you got saved out of that lifestyle, but I can do what I want because Jesus. And you need to pray. You just need to pray and read more and get stronger and just get over that. And I realized like that might not be what we're saying on purpose or you know, that might not even be what we're saying. You know, of course, we're not going to, like, say that. But, hopefully. But, um, like, that's what we're saying with the way that we conduct ourselves with that issue. Um, another issue that was brought up tonight was, um, going to the movies. Um, I know me personally, um, whew, uh, I love movies. I love going to the movies. I think it's a fun experience, all that jazz. But, um, I know there are certain families, certain people who are against movies, going to movie theaters, and such things. So I make sure to not mention movies around them. Um, I mean, like, it's important for us to know where our brethren come from and to make sure that we don't work to offend them or try to offend them or mention things that would offend them. I don't know if this is making sense. But anyways, it was really good. And I'm really appreciative that 
um, we got to go over that in church tonight. Um, and um, my last note was that uh, Jesus invested his life into people and um, that the people that he was offending mostly were the super religious Pharisees. <laughs> so um, I guess if I'm going to, well I don't want to offend anybody really, but if I'm going to offend people it would just be the super religious, I'm doing this because Jesus and uh, that's not the attitude we should have. But that's not how we should be. Um, you know, Jesus is the answer, but he should not be our excuse for poor behavior. No. So anyways, on that note, I'm going to be quiet. I get to get up super early tomorrow morning. I have to be at work at 6.45. I don't usually even wake up until 8 o'clock. So, yay! Woo. I'm just feeling very frustrated with people at work, too. So that'll be fun. But it's okay. It's okay. It'll be alright. The Lord will get me through it. So, anyways, um... On that note, good night.